let's hang it as a symbol of what we've accomplished and the standard we hold ourselves to. We are UK. For 14 years, Big Blue Nation has stared at Southern. A sense of pride, a startling realization of lost time. At Kentucky, the expectation is eight. This season, the turnstile of talent continues. The nation's top recruit, whose talent is only dwarfed by his reach. Come on, you got six foot 15. Uh, I want to be a part of something great. A true throwback, armed with endless range and an endearing hook. You see that hook he shot? An East Coast hurricane of energy, a hybrid of hustle and heart. And Calipari's newest protege at point, whose decision making is celebrated even before stepping into rep. I'm gonna be attending the University of Kentucky. Yeah! Mix in a shot to spread the floor, a senior to direct it, and the SEC Player of the Year. And you have the number two team in the nation. Clearly, Kentucky doesn't rebuild, they reload. This is The View from HAS. Louisville beats Kentucky 74 to 71. The underdog. Louisville had spent the season mastering its details. The emergence of unexpected heroes. Miracle moments. The card studied the upset, mastered it. And a cruel twist of fate fell to its unwavering loyalty to disappoint. Jumper. They are a very talented group. As good a group as I've had since I've been here. As deep a group. Louisville now sports incredible depth. Top 10 team, talent, juniors, sophomores, point guards, down low. Returning nearly every player from last year's improbable season. An impact player and one of the better players in the Big East. This is a type of team Patino thrives with. Add in a McDonald's All-American. He's as good a freshman as I've coached since Mashburn. And you have the seventh ranked team in the nation. A clash of remarkable talent, historic programs, and legendary coaches. Those two egos, you see the suits that they wear? <laughs> I, I bet that they in the, dress, the dressing room trying to outdress one another, you know? Oh, it's great because they don't like each other and everybody knows that. This is the Commonwealth's team. Come on, everybody want to get mad about it? It is, it's the Commonwealth's team. Yeah, I think everything that each guy does, there's an element of how it plays in the other guy's backyard. We've got coaches that had a personal rivalry to add to state rivalry. When we play them, I hope they lose. Other than that, I really could care less. I want to win a championship here badly, badly. UK star Terrence Jones and Stacey Poole are doing fine tonight after an overnight crash caused by a suspected drunk driver. We have a curfew now. Goes down. It felt like literally my bone came out of the socket and then it popped right back in. Hopefully mine's only minor and I'll be back in a week or two and ready to go. You know, last year was bad. This year is, is ridiculous. Um, it's not fatigue. It's not overworking. Freak accident. Other side. Come on, Angel. And he's got a helmet on in practice. We got guys wearing helmets. It's killing me right now, I mean, look at, look at it, look at it, it's huge. We have to do what we have to do to protect our guys. I mean, if we have to wear helmets, that's what we have to do. I just keep telling them, I've, I've been, I've seen this for 35 years. Uh, 
You know, I'm lying. I've never seen it before. This is what college basketball is all about, this place. Boy, he is a man possessed. Another W in the history of the annals of Kentucky basketball. And the rainbow three drops in. And Kentucky playing free and easy. You know, we play Penn State. We're, we're world beaters. We're beating anybody. Let's. Where's the Lakers? In Connecticut. Here's T. Goes out here. Oh, what a feed. It was not easy. They stay unbeaten on the new season. The second-ranked Wildcats. After Old Dominion, you had a lot of players in there wondering if they were any good. Tonight, UML hosting Vandy.